In this video, I'll break down some really cool transition presets that I have on my digital store. I'll basically break down first of all how to install them and how to use each of these individual transitions. Now on my store, they're going to be two separate packs. The first one is going to be the camera shake transitions and the other one is going to be the essential transitions pack and both of them will be for sale on my digital store. The first thing I want to do is show you basically how to install these presets. Now when you purchase these packs, they're going to come in zip files. All you want to do is you just want to unzip the file and it should come with individual folders now what you want to do is you want to take all those presets out of the folder and we'll go ahead and show you where to put them so what you want to do is you want to click on the finder app right here you want to go over here to applications so select on applications then you want to head over here to the go tab you want to hold down the option key until the library tab um, uh, appears so see if I release the option key so hold down the option key select library once you're on library, you basically want to go ahead and go over here to application support. So open up application support. And basically what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you find the pro apps folder. So as you can see, pro apps is right here. Open up the pro apps folder. As you can see, effects presets. So I open up the effects presets folder. As you can see, here are all of my presets. So all you want to do is you want to take all these presets out of the folder and then drag them over here. So you see the effects presets folder. If I head over here to the back arrow and go ahead and drag all those presets into your effects presets folder. So as you can see, here are the clips right here. If I go and play them, here's one of them, and here's um, a couple more of the clips that I'll go over. Just basically going to give you an idea of how to use these really cool trans. Transitions. So what you're going to need is you're actually going to need a free plugin. Now this is actually not for sale on my digital store. This is a plugin from Ryan Nagel. It's an adjustment layer, but don't worry, it's completely free. And if you use Final Cut, I would recommend just getting the free adjustment layer. Anyways, it's great for all kinds of really cool effects. But in this case, we use this free adjustment layer. I will also put the link down in the description below. It's a free plugin from Ryan Nagel. So I head over here to adjustment layer. All you want to do is you want to take the adjustment layer and you just want to place it on top of the clip right here. Now what you want to do is you want to select on this adjustment adjustment layer click on control d6 and then click on return all we did is we set the duration of this adjustment layer to six frames so we're going to go to the beginning of the adjustment layer and then go to the, with the um, arrow keys go one two three and then we're going to go ahead and press m on your keyboard to create a marker and then one two three so basically the duration of the adjustment layer is six frames and we're basically just finding the middle of the adjustment layer. so you see you're just going to place that middle of the adjustment layer in between the two clips as you can see right there now we'll head over here now we'll go ahead and we can actually go ahead and let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit and let's actually go ahead and click on this adjustment layer and click on command c so you can click on command c and then you can go ahead and paste this adjustment layer a couple more times. Let's put one right here. And basically, you're placing the middle of the adjustment layer in between um, the two clips, as you can see. So let's go ahead and just go over a couple of the really cool transitions. So what you want to do is you want to open up your effects panel, and it should automatically, if you install this correctly, it should automatically create folders. So the first folder it should create is essential transitions. Here's where you find all the stuff you bought in the, the essential transitions pack. So let's go over a couple of them first. First of all, let's go ahead and do the so all you want to do is take these presets and you're just going to drag it onto your adjustment layer. Simple as that. You're just simply going to drag the presets onto your adjustment layer. Go ahead and play it. As you can see, there you go. You have a really cool blur transition. So here is before, here is what it looks like before, and here is what it looks like after. Just as simple as that, you have a really cool blur transition. You can also select on the adjustment layer. Go over here to the effects panel and adjust the different amount so you can increase or decrease the amount. It's basically instead of you keyframing these blurs, I basically do it for you. So it basically just saves you a lot of time. So instead of having to apply the blur and keyframe, you can go ahead and just slap on these um, presets. So as you see, here is the really cool blur transition. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the effects panel again. And let's go ahead and let's apply the flash transition. So simply take the, the effect and just drag it on top of the adjustment layer. And just literally as simple as that, we can go ahead and play the clip and then boom, you have a really cool camera flash transition. And again, you can go to the adjustment layer and you can go to, so you see all I did here was where I just um, keyframed the color board. So you can actually open up the adjustment layer and adjust the different settings if you want. So there's the camera flash transition. Now let's hurry, head over here and let's apply um, Another one, let's apply the RGB blur effect. So let's simply drag the effect and place it on top of your adjustment layer. And again, all I did was I just keyframe, I applied a prism effect and just keyframed it. So that way you have this really cool like RGB blur effect. And there you go, as simple as that. You have a really cool like RGB um, blur effect. Now let's go up the effects panel again. As you can see, inverted flicker says three frames, uh, three frames, six frames. So if it says three frames, what we're gonna do is instead of um, creating adjustment layer and doing like we did here, we're gonna take this adjustment layer and we're gonna click 
click on control D click on three and click on return so this is only three frames not six frames so in this case for three frames we're gonna go ahead and just place it at the end of the clip we're not placing it in between the clips you could do that if you want to but we're just gonna place it at the end of this clip right here head over here to the effects panel and let's apply the inverted flicker and just simply apply it onto your clip right here now you have this really cool like x-ray inverted flicker effect so I play the clip there you go these really cool like inverted um, a flicker effect which I think looks really cool now let's go ahead and apply a couple more so let's do these really cool camera shake transition so simply take an adjustment and place it onto your clip and now we're gonna click on control D6 and click return. So we set the duration of the adjustment layer to six frames. Now we're gonna go forward one, two, three, and then place a marker. So uh, selecting the adjustment layer and press M on your keyboard. Again, you're just finding the middle of the adjustment layer. And then just simply that place the middle of the adjustment layer in between the two, in between the two clips, basically just where the cut is happening. Now that's basically the one example. So let's go ahead over here. Now you can also offset this a little bit. So let's say like one, two, you only want the first two frames happening. So press on M and then place it in between the clips. So it just depends on what you want. Again, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing, but I'm just showing you the best way to use these really cool transitions. So let's head over here to the effects panel. And what you want to do is either apply camera shake 01 or camera shake 02. Let's simply apply camera shake 02, place it on top of your clip. And all I did was I just keyframe the transform tool to give it a little bit of shake. So I go ahead and play the clip. As you can see, that looks really cool. But as you can see it looks a little weird because you can see some of these black edges. So let's take another adjustment layer place it on top of both the clips you want to make sure this adjustment layer spans both clips I want to go ahead and just trim the adjustment you just want it to have it exactly as I have it on screen right here now what you want to do is click on this adjustment layer and you want to increase the scale to 125 that way you don't have any of those black um, bars but you want to make sure the adjustment layer is on top of both clips because you're increasing the scale so you want to make sure if, if you don't do that it's gonna look a little bit weird it's gonna like the scales gonna increase and then go back to normal it's just gonna look a little weird so go ahead and play the clip as you can see there we go now there's none of those black edges now you can also apply some motion blur this is also a free plugin from Ryan Nagel the link will be down in the description below so simply take the motion blur place it on top of basically you're just placing it on top of where the actual the shake is happening I'm gonna go ahead and trim the adjustment layer and then as you can see you see now you have a little bit of blur so it just adds a little bit it makes it a little look a little more dynamic play the clip as you can see now you have this really cool like camera shake transition the next transition I want to go over is this really cool like zoom in transition so let's head over here to the adjustment layer and go ahead and just simply uh, drag one of the adjustment layers on top of the clip right here and again control D and we'll do three so go ahead and again like I did the inverted flicker just place it right at the end of the clip now this is gonna be a little bit different depending on which one you want to do so head over to the effects panel as you can see it says zoom in six frames zoom in three frames so for the three frames you want to have it look like this for the six frame one you want to have it look like in, in the beginning where I have it six frames and then place it in between the clip so if it's three frames again just place it like this but if it's six frames you want that the adjustment layer to look like this so we're gonna go ahead and here go to zoom in and let's just do the three frame one and then just simply take the effect and then place it on top of the adjustment layer and go ahead all I did was I just keyframe the scale so we play the clip as you see it just zooms in and I could also add um, some motion blur go ahead head over here to moderate motion blur and then just trim it as you can see there we go now we go ahead and just trim the um, motion blur that we just add a little bit of blur again you don't have to add motion blur it just depends and if you if you like that blur motion blur overall just makes it look a lot more um, better so we go ahead and play the clip as you can see there you go you have a really cool zoom in transition the last transitions I want to go over is actually from a whole different pack so all the transitions that you saw before are all from the essential transitions pack on my digital store now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use my really cool transitions from my camera shake pack which is a whole different um, pack so we're going to go over here to the adjustment layer and let's again do the same thing place an adjustment layer place it on top of the clip control D click on six click on return so we set the duration of the adjustment layer to six frames Go over here selecting the adjustment layer and then go forward one two three and then place uh, press M on your keyboard to create a marker and place the middle of the adjustment layer in between the two clips as you can see on screen right here if we play the clip of course nothing is going to happen so what we're going to do is head over here to the effects panel now what you want to do is you want to go down until you find crazy shakes so if you install the presets correctly it should automatically create a category called crazy shakes now again crazy shakes um, category is from a camera shake transitions and then this is a, a different pack called the essential transitions so I'm going to go over and break down how to use one of my really cool camera shake transitions 
So we head over here to camera shakes. As you can see, there are a total of 10 camera shake transitions. Now, all I did was I basically just keyframe like the transform tool, the rotation, the position. So instead of you having to actually like individually keyframe all the scales and the rotation, I basically just did it for you. So that's basically what these presets are. They're not like super complex effects, but the, the point of creating these um pack is just save you a lot of time. So all literally all you have to do is let's say we want to do zoom to a shake, literally select on this effect and then drag it onto your just more and you've automatically literally it takes like two seconds and you create a really cool camera shake transition go ahead and play the clip as you can see there you go just literally as simple as that you have created this really cool camera shake transition you can also head over here to motion blur and then take moderate motion blur and then place it on top of this adjustment layer right here and then just simply trim the motion blur and there you go now you have some really cool blur onto your actual transition so if we go ahead and play the clip, as you see, there you go. Really cool camera shake transition. Literally as simple as that. And the same steps apply for all other nine, all of all of the other nine effects. Literally, just, this, you just do the exact same thing as I did for the zoom twist shake preset. And there you go. Just as simple as that. I think these are really cool transitions. And the whole point of creating these packs is to save you a lot of time. So as you can see, here is the finished product. You have some really cool, really clean transitions. And there you go. As simple as that. Now again, the motion blur plugin and the adjustment layer plugin are not mine. They are from Ryan Nagel. They are just essential um, plugins. If you're using Final Cut or if you're new to Final Cut, definitely go ahead and download those two plugins. Again, don't worry, they are completely free, but they are essential if you use Final Cut Pro. And that's pretty much how to use my really cool camera shake transition pack and my essential transitions pack. Hopefully you really enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're looking for some other really cool plugins, presets, and transitions for Final Cut, definitely go ahead and check out my digital store. The link will be down in the description below. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.